get people that are here for all sorts of different reasons. We get people from Russia that are here just to see uh, Sam Clemens' birth home. We get people from 10 miles away that just want to look at a bunch of rocks. So it's really cool that we have a really natural, beautiful setting, but also we do have all of that really cool history. This is definitely a different style of cave. Most of them, it's literally a hole in the ground, whereas these caves are up in the hillside. This is flowstone. This is what flows in from a crack in the ceiling. This is actually a stalactite forming in a hundred years. That will be one inch longer. Yeah, we are a maze cave system. There's over 260 passages inside Mark Twain Cave. He used to play here as a boy. He often would explore the caves on many adventures and he actually ended up writing about it several times in different books. The most famous of those, um, which everybody recognizes, is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So actually on our cave tour, we actually get to do a little bit of storytelling where you actually get to be and experience exactly where he was. So I always think about Mark Twain's book when I look at this wall because he says that the walls of the cave were dewy with a cold sweat. And I think that he must have stood and looked at this wall when he wrote that. We like to say that the cave was seared into his imagination, and that's why he wrote about it so often. So this is our autograph alley, and we have a quarter of a million historic signatures in our cave. And through this section, you'll see a lot of the different methods that people use to sign their name. A common method in this section is the candle smoke method. We also have signatures in graphite pencil, we have signatures in pen ink, we even have signatures in berry juice. Before 1972, when we were a national landmark, everyone was encouraged to sign their name. Now, it carries up to a year in prison and a thousand dollar fine for doing it. You walk backwards a lot. I can do the whole cave backwards. I love learning all the different dates and trying to put them in order, finding out that Jesse James came to this cave three years after The Adventures of Tom Sawyer was written, that the crazy Dr. McDowell actually owned it while Sam Clemens played through here as a kid. Actually, that's one of the really cool things about having two caves on the property. So this cave does have electricity, it does have the signatures. You can tell you're not the first one in here. Whereas Cameron Cave, it does feel like you're the first one in there. It feels very untamed. We do have an easy walking tour through Cameron Cave that people can just do off the street. We also have adventure tours, uh, which is more of a spelunking adventure. I would say the people coming out of the adventure tour um, definitely feel like they have definitely accomplished something. They come out with a sense of accomplishment. <laughs>